Oh, is it? Oh. <laughs> I didn't think it was so little. <laughs> I thought it was trying to go me. Oh. That's a pretty young one. Yeah. Oh. You're alright. Nice defensive behaviour there. He's not happy. Were they poisonous? Highly venomous. Yeah. Oh. Pretty yellow from the belly there. These guys are generally, as you can see, that flattened. Yeah. A bit of a defensive behaviour. Look a bit like a cobra when they, they do. do that, yeah. They do, yeah. Luckily, they're a bit sleepy this time of year. So these are quite cold tolerant snakes, which is why oh. you find them out on days like this. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, okay. It's not very old, but maybe two or three years old. Oh, okay. It's beautiful, isn't it? Ah, uh, that yellow. Is, yeah. It's quite a stunning yellow. It is. One, actually. Yeah. See the way they flatten out that neck. It's the biggest one I've had at my place, yeah. so I don't want any bigger than that. Brilliant. G'day guys, just about to release this tiger snake that I caught in Southern River from a uh, kennel property in the kennel area, apparently. Uh, found this nice little spot here. Pretty hard to find a decent spot for a release around here. It's, it's kind of bushy, there's a lot of development going on. Um, only a couple of areas of swamps and culverts. Um, so I've got him under here. So hopefully we're gonna get some nice defensive action from this guy. I really wanna show you how these guys go. There he is. Beautiful little thing. Only a little one. He's probably about half a meter long. So he's probably you know, somewhere between two and three years old. He was a little bit defensive, as you may have seen in the catch video. Um, but he did have a bucket placed over him to keep him in place, which on one hand is good, but we don't usually recommend you guys to do that just because you don't know what's going to happen. Um, if you can and it's safe to do so, it does help. Now you see this guy, <laughs> he even has an ant crawling on him. But he's not being... Dude, you got an ant on your face. And he's just being very cautious of me at the moment. You can see he's got that flattened neck or that hood out. And he's just watching. And you may have seen in some of the recent videos we've done how they do that flattening out and then moving and they sort of turn their head. And he's just watching me at the moment. But I'm about a foot away from him, but he's not really doing anything. But if we move, um, that's when he's gonna start being a little bit more active. As we have mentioned before, tiger snakes are quite cold tolerant species. So you will find them in sort of warmer winter days, autumn days like today, out basking, getting a little bit of sun. Because they're black and that yellow, no, I've just stood up now, so now he's like, oh shit, what's he doing? I'm not sure if you can see it, but that lump on that bend of his body there is actually a skin worm. Because these guys are mainly frog feeders, they do end up with parasites that the frogs carry. Oh, I'm not sure if you can see that, but he's so defensive at the moment, and he has his neck flattened out so much, you can actually see the sunlight reflecting through the top of his hood there. That is really cool, and I've never seen that before. So yeah, anyway, the black um, absorbs the heat a lot better, which is why they can be out on days like today. It was a maximum of 19 degrees when this guy was out. Now, as you can see, he has all of that in front of him. So he could just take off if he wanted to. I'm not holding him. Just standing here. You can't hear me talking, so that's not an issue. Because these guys are heavier bodied than dugites, they tend to move a bit slower. This defensive posturing 
and this sort of behavior is what makes people think they're aggressive. There is not a single ounce of aggression in this snake. One of the most notorious snakes in Australia and all he's doing is sitting there watching me. My foot is about two feet from him and he's doing nothing, just staring at me. Unfortunately, in this light, you can't see how pretty he is. He's got a beautiful yellow belly. So I'm just gonna stand up and see what he does. And I really wanna encourage him to keep moving. So I'm just gonna grab my hook. And as you see, with more movement, oh, there you go. Can you see that? Can you see that sunlight reflecting through his hood? There we go. That's it, buddy. Now, as I follow him, you'll see him flatten out his neck. He can't hide under there, there's not much. Yeah, now he's getting a bit of speed up. I just, I love the fact that you can see the sunlight glaring through his hood, that is so awesome. You see, he's not in a real rush to get away. He's just being very cautious because I'm following him. He's not a huge snake, so it's hard to get him on film. Oop. I got too close. That was a little bluff strike. That's just him saying, Oi, you're too close, back off. Times like this, you can just sort of stand and watch these guys and really appreciate just how amazing and beautiful they are. I know this is going to bump out the time in the video, so I apologise. He's really not in a hurry to, you know, escape or run to his freedom. I'm getting a little bit too close for him now. We'll see if we can get him to do one of those bluff strikes again. Oh, now and now we got some shade, you can really see his colour. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit too close for you, aren't I, buddy? Hey? See, now he knows he can't unrun, outrun me, so he just stopped. And that's when he's gonna, if I just put my foot. No, he doesn't care. Let's go up the hill, bud. Up the hill, here you go. It's probably cooling down on that sand pretty quickly. So we'll just uh, encourage him to move along so we can get into that cover up there. I do like the way, if you follow these guys when they're slithering off, now, yeah, they've still got their neck flattened out a little bit and they really do look cobra-like. Look at the bands and the belly. You're all right, buddy. You're okay. Now yeah, he's just gonna go in here and look for some cover. I might leave him there. He's gonna go under there or in there. The video's going on too long because I'm rambling. But I just love showing you guys how beautiful these animals are. And there we go, he might just curl up under there. Hey, bud. Hey. And there we go. Oh, he's going right up into there. So I'm gonna leave him be. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.